guys, it's JSH308 and welcome back to another video. I'm so excited to get to hang out with you guys again today because today I'll be showing you guys all the new no glue slime recipes I've found out how to make with in the past week. Grab a snack or get some slime to play with and enjoy watching this video. This is a huge goal, but if you guys can get this upload to 100,000 likes within the first 24 hours, I will be doing daily uploads as well as huge daily giveaways for a whole entire week. So try and get this video to 100,000 likes if you guys want to see that happen. Before I get into the video, I want to shout out some of the people that have the notification bell clicked on my channel. So those people are Gamer Aryden, Yasmi Firas, Small Potato, Air Bear, and also Crazy Daisy XOXO. If you would like to get a notification squad shout out in my next video, all you have to do is be subscribed and have the notification bell turned on and comment down below once you've done that. The so recipe I'm going to be testing out is one ingredient toothpaste slime. Basically what we're going to be doing is microwaving some toothpaste to see if it will turn into slime. It's before with a mint toothpaste and it worked super well, so hopefully this one will work too. So let's test it out. I have my toothpaste in my container, so now I'm just going to microwave it. Take my slime out of the microwave, and as you guys can see, it looks pretty sticky, so I'm just going to mix it to see if it turned into slime. As you guys can see, unfortunately, the slime recipe didn't work, but if you guys have any other toothpaste slime recipes, be sure to leave them in the comments below. I'm going to be showing you guys a new way to make clear jiggly slime. You're going to be needing some Johnson shampoo or any sort of a jiggly clear shampoo. You just want to add a container of that into your bowl or add a half container, and then you want to dye it to whatever color you want it to be. I'm just going to make mine a bright green color, and I'm just going to mix all of my food coloring in. To make our slime super jiggly, you're going to be needing some water. So the first thing we're going to be doing is adding in the water. I'm planning on adding 400 milligrams of water and I already have 500 milligrams of soap in my bowl. So I'm gonna start off by just adding in the 250 milligrams and then I'm going to add in some more once I've mixed this all up. slime has a consistent texture it is time to let it sit and for this we're going to be drying it out by putting in some surround wrap on the top of it and then just letting it sit for a couple of days mine took two days to sit but yours might take longer so if yours is still looking watery just keep letting it sit No glue slime recipe i will be trying out the brand new birthday candle no glue slime recipe tutorials for this recipe basically they just melt candles and then they add a face mask to them and it makes a perfect slime last october's water slime video i did make slime out of a candle so hopefully this will work too okay you guys i just microwaved a bunch of the candles and they're not melting so i'm gonna take a few out hopefully that will help it melt a little bit better so i'm gonna pop these ones in the microwave too here are as much I c as I could get of the candles to melt, so I'm just going to take the rest of the candles out and we're going to try to add the face mask into this little bit of melted wax. You know, glue slime recipes usually have peel-off masks, except for this one's just a mud mask, and that's what they used in the video, so I picked this one up that I had actually lying around in my house. I was hoping the candle wax would start drying again, and basically face mask a harder consistency, so it would be like slime, except for this didn't work, and it basically just left us with the same mud mask we had before, so this recipe was a fail. The next no glue slime recipe I will be showing you guys how to make is no glue acrylic paint slime. You most likely already will have all the ingredients to make this slime, so let's get started. First ingredient you will be needing for this slime recipe is dish soap. I got this one from Target, it was only 40 cents. You need about a cup of dish soap, and then you're also going to be needing some shampoo. And for shampoo, you are only going to be needing to add a tablespoon of shampoo into the dish soap. Next ingredient is pretty crucial to this recipe, and that is acrylic paint. So I have this acrylic paint that I found in my house, and then once you add the acrylic paint in, you just want to mix all the ingredients together. At this point, your ingredients should start thickening up because of the shampoo and dish soap combination. We have reached the fun part. We are going to dye our slime and color it and make it look really cool. So I'm going to be making mine a blue slime by adding in some turquoise blue food coloring, and I'm also going to be adding in some purple foam beads so that we can have a super cool foam slime. 
activate this slime, I will be using iodized salt. The difference between normal salt and iodized salt is that iodized salt has an element called iodine added to it, and iodine salt just basically dries everything out better. So when you add it into the slime and let it sit for a little bit, the soap will dry out a lot more. Here was the slime after I let it sit for a couple hours to dry out. slime test will be super fun because I'm going to be trying to make slime out of bubble gum. Come up with a little plan to make bubble gum and water slime. So what we're going to do is take some bubble gum, melt it in the microwave with some water, and then we're going to add some cornstarch to it and see if it will turn into a nice stretchy butter slime. Melting three bubble gums so that we can have a decent sized slime. Now just taking the wrappers off so I can pop them in the microwave and get them melted. And now that I have my bubble gum in my bowl, I'm just going to add a little bit of water. I'm just going to melt this in the microwave. Guys, I just took it out of the microwave, and I'm just going to get rid of the excess water by putting it in this separate cup. Here is what the bubblegum looked like after I melted it. As you guys can see, it is really stringy, which was actually surprising. It kind of looks like a cloud slime, but I'm just going to mix it up, and then I'm going to add a little bit of cornstarch so we can make it less sticky, and we can hopefully turn it into a slime. Just added a little bit of the cornstarch in, so I'm just going to mix it all together, and we will see what happens. I'm kind of disappointed because it didn't get much less sticky, and as you guys can see, it wasn't slime-like, so this slime was actually a fail. I'm kind of able to get it dry, except for it just didn't stretch, so leave some recommendations in the comment below, and try to find some more bubblegum recipes so I can test them again. I'm excited to show you guys the next slime recipe because I will be showing you guys how you can make clear slime without any glue and out of just two ingredients, dish soap and Listerine. So the first thing you need to do is just take some of your Dawn dish soap or whatever dish soap you're using and just add it into two microwavable containers. Basically, we're going to be using the Listerine to help dry out the dish soap and then we're going to microwave them so we can make them super dry and hopefully they will have a slime texture. Any Listerine will work for this, you just want to add a really small amount because if you add too much, it will, won't work. So just add a really small drop of Listerine into each one of your bowls. Or if you're just making one, just add it into your bowl of dish soap. I'm going to be adding a drop of purple food coloring into the purple one so I can make it a little bit more purple because right now it's more blue and looks a lot like the blue one already. And now we're going to just microwave them. It's really dirty right now. I need to clean it off. This microwave is only used for slime, so it's super dirty right now. But I've just popped all... Whoops! I've popped the two slimes in the microwave and we're going to just microwave it for 30 seconds. Here's what our slime looks like. You can see they don't look super purple and blue, but in a second I will show you what it looks like when I put it by the window where there's lots of natural lighting. As you guys can see, they're not super sticky for being no-go slimes, and they turned out just like slime. videos on Instagram that are super popular where people will take two different colors of water and they'll add it into fake snow. So I thought it would be super fun to recreate. So I took these two empty Starbucks cups, just added some water and I added some colored food coloring. And then I took some instant snow, I put it in my bowl and then I tried to pour the water in, but it basically just instantly blended the two colors together and it looked brown. So it didn't look super cool, but I thought I would include this clip of me trying to do the fake snow trend thing.
Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed these recipes. I had a great time hanging out with you, and if you had a great time too, you should definitely subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And if you want to learn a little bit more about me, you can follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is jshdiy. Make sure to click on one of the videos right now on the screen so I can hang out with you guys over there. I love you guys so much, and I will see you on one of those videos. Bye!